Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about short-term versus long-term gratification. It's been a while since I've done one of these sit down and talk videos in front of the camera, so please enjoy this. So just before I start this video, please consider subscribing to this channel as I try to give lots of value to people who are students, people who are just wanting to do better in life from the experiences that I have from my PhD. So make sure you get subscribing. So short-term versus long-term gratification. I mean, we've all heard it. People saying, oh, we should save up for the future or we should do things that are not so fun now, but in the long term, they'll pay dividends and your life will be so much better if you do these things now. However, as humans, we always think about the short-term gratification, something that we can do today that makes us instantly happy. But of course, most of the times that these short-term things make us happy in the short term, but in the long term, they don't really add up to anything. For example, short-term gratification can be playing PlayStation, watching Netflix, anything that we do that makes us really happy in the moment. However, does little for us in the long term. Let's take, for example, watching Netflix. Typically, Netflix will have a lot of higher value entertainment programs such as Narcos or something filled with action. This is really good in the moment and it releases all sorts of endorphins and makes you really happy for the duration that you're watching it. However, when you're finished watching it, you don't gain much from the story because most of these stories are fictionalized, as in it doesn't represent history and even if it did, the show is so orientated on justifying entertainment value that it really doesn't do much in terms of teaching you about the history of things and teaching you about how things work. Another thing, for example, is playing Call of Duty on your PlayStation. So once you're playing Call of Duty, it's very fun. Like you can play with your friends and you feel like you're actually socializing. There reaches a certain duration after you start playing these video games that you actually don't get much in return. So for example, socializing. Socializing behind a online platform such as PlayStation Network or Xbox Live is just not the same thing as real life. You don't get the actual body language cues, the tone of voice exactly right as you would do in real life. So you're actually capping yourself at a certain point and the experience that you get from video games is not gonna be anything near as the experience that you get from actually playing team sports, which actually uses exercise and it gives you long-term benef health benefits such as reduced blood pressure, greater cardiac performance, etc. So yes, short-term is very fun. We do need to do things for the short term in order to live a healthy and balanced lifestyle. However, doing everything short term, it might make us perpetually happy as long as we keep doing these short term things. It's a very non-optimized use of your time. So you must be doing things or you must be thinking about doing things for the long term. An example of doing things for the long term is going to the gym. So going to the gym is not fun in the short term. It's painful. It's very hard to start going to the gym because of that motivation, that initial kick that you need to go to the gym every single day or whatever routine you have is very difficult. Maybe once you started lifting or running, it gets a bit easier. But however, it's not something that you would do purely just for fun. However, in the long term, these things add up. As with progress, as I've said many times before, progress takes a very long time to actually occur. And initially, it's very slow. It might just be a flat line. However, as time goes on and on, your results kind of peak exponentially and you get the greatest results as a function of doing things continuously. This is another reason why consistency is the most important thing in life, basically. And I have a video somewhere I might link up, I might not. This brings me neatly onto things that you should be considering to do that is not the best for you right now in terms of gratifying you right now. However, in the long term, you'll literally be so happy that you did it. So one main thing that I can think of is investing. So if you start investing earlier and you put money into your portfolio for the long term, your investment portfolio will grow as a function of time and the compound interest will build up and build up. And eventually in many, many years time, that portfolio will be a lot larger than it was initially. The best example that I can give to you is an American investor called Warren Buffett. I mean, if you know anything about investing, you have definitely heard of him. So the story goes that he started investing when he was just 11 years old. And currently he's worth over $85 billion. He's amongst America's, if not the world's best investor, so the most successful investor. Of course he has his own strategies and how he does it, but the main thing that he can take home is that he is consistently investing his money. He doesn't want to keep much in cash because cash is useless. Cash depreciates whilst investing into assets, appreciates your money, so it goes up. So he's worth over $80 billion right now, okay? And if you do the math, if he started investing at the age of 30 and stopped at the age of 60, he would only be worth around $12 million. So because he started investing at the age of 11 and he continued above his 60s, 70s, he's now worth 85 billion. Even if you do the math, even if you put it into something like a bond or a stock and you start investing earlier rather than later, your portfolio amount is just 
staggeringly different when you've invested for a shorter term than a longer term. So investing is definitely one of those things that you want to do now. I have a link in the description of a really good app that you can use to actually buy shares. If you sign up now using my link, you get a free share as well as I get a free share. But it's not about me getting a free share. It's about you starting to invest because this app allows you to invest with as little as two pounds. However, I recommend at least putting in 10 pounds and buying a share in the S&P 500, which is basically a tracker fund ETF, which basically amalgamates the top 500 companies in America and puts them together. So if one goes down completely, the others will bring it back up. And the top 500 companies are very unlikely to all go down at the same time. So it's quite safe and it grows year on year. So if you put your money in that, you'll see your money grow year on year. And if you keep depositing money into your account, it will grow and grow. And hopefully in 10, 20, 30 years, your portfolio will be a lot larger than what it is now. So short term versus long term, we all know that we should do things for the long term. There's millions and countless examples. For me, for academia, we all know that those who spend more time revising actually can do better in exams more effortlessly. However, revising is very boring, very for a long term thing. You don't revise one day and learn the whole syllabus and revision can be very slow as in the amount of stuff that you learn per day can be so slow, it takes ages. But we know that we have to do more things for the longer term. The key message from this video is they'll reach a point where we're no longer as young as we used to be and we find ourselves in a position where we need money for a house but we don't have any savings. Or we want to look different physique wise, say we're growing older and we want to look more muscular, but however we haven't put in the work and it takes years and years to build a big muscular frame. Anything that you can think of, there will be a time where you think I should have invested my time, my energy into something instead of doing it for short term. Maybe you reach your 30s, your 40s and you realise the friendship circles that you have were all just online <laughs> and now you want to make real friends, you all have kids now and you want someone to look after them or dog sit or babysit or anything like that and you just realise that you can't really do it over Call of Duty or Zoom. <laughs> I really do hope that you take home the message. If you like this video, please press like. Comment down below on things, on some other short term versus long term things that you should be doing, but you know you're not doing. Please consider subscribing if you found this video useful. And as always, thank you for watching.